Are you thinking about getting a swag, but overwhelmed by all of the different brands and models out there? Well, you're not alone. Traditional versus dome swags, what thickness of canvas, how wide your swag should be, the decisions are endless. For this video, I've put together a list of the best swags in Australia to help you wade through the mountain of options out there and come up with a short list of a few swags that tick all the boxes for you. First, I'll give you a quick rundown of a, each of the swags in my list, then I'll compare them directly against each other to see which one comes out on top. As always, the links for all of these uh, swags are in the video description below, as well as a link to the full comparison on my website, uh, which includes the latest prices from all of the retailers. Let's get straight into it. So here is my list of the best swags in Australia. First up, we have the 230 Bandit 900. This is an outstanding swag and one of my favorites. The build quality is superb, um, and it includes seams that are fully sealed from the inside, meaning that this swag is entirely waterproof and doesn't require any seasoning, any seasoning at all once you purchase it. It has plenty of windows and ventilation, which is great. Um, it's just a little bit narrow on the inside, and it is a little bit heavy as well. Those are probably the only two negatives that I can say about it. Next up is the King's Escape Deluxe Single Swag. Um, this is uh, another very popular product from King's. This single swag is very affordable and is actually the cheapest option on this list. Unfortunately, a number of people have found that this tent is pretty poor quality. Um, it appears to have waterproofing issues, even when people do season it. And the poles um, are reportedly quite weak on this tent and they can break easily unless you are quite careful with them. In saying that, it is a very cheap swag, so um, you do expect a corresponding drop in quality for the, the low price that you are paying. Next up is the Oztrail Mitchell Expedition Single Swag. Um, this is another quite affordable swag, although it's definitely a step up in terms of quality from the King Swag. Um, it is quite light and packs down to a surprisingly small volume, so it's easy to see why this is referred to as, as, an, as an expedition swag. If you'll be changing campsites often, a swag like this will be great for you. Just be aware that the included mattress is pretty thin and not very comfortable, so you might want to invest um, in an extra swag mattress if you do want that extra comfort. Next up is the Oz Tent RS1. This is an absolute beast of a swag. It is by far the most spacious swag on the list and is built to the typical high quality, um, high quality Oz Tent standards. In contrast to the Mitchell Expedition swag, the Oz Tent RS1 is very bulky and very heavy when packed up. So it isn't great if you need to set up and pack down your swag regularly. It's also made out of polyester rather than the typical canvas that the other swags are made out of, which means that the breathability and ventilation are not as good. So you might get a bit of condensation inside your swag overnight if the, if the conditions are cold. We also have the Darchi Dust to Dawn 900. Um, one thing I love about this swag is that it comes with dual entries, which open up completely, allowing you to do some stargazing directly from your swag. It has excellent waterproofing um, and comes with a, a nice canvas carry bag as well. On the downside, the included poles are fairly weak and they can snap if you aren't careful with the tent. So keep that in mind. Another option from Darchi is the Dirty D900. Um, unlike the Dust to Dawn, the Dirty D does unfortunately suffer from a few waterproofing issues um, that I've heard from from a few, a few customers that have used these tents, um, which is a shame. In saying that, it does come with plenty of windows and doors, which means that the ventilation should be good. We also have the AOS Bushman Deluxe Single. Unlike the other swags on this list, um, which are all dome swags, this is actually a traditional swag. This means that it doesn't require any poles at all and it has a much simpler setup. It has been designed and is manufactured entirely in Australia, over in Western Australia, and comes with an incredible 10 year guarantee. This is a testament to the quality of these units. The only downside is that they are narrower and smaller than the other swags on this list. However, they do have a king single size, so if you've got a bit of extra budget to play with, you could look at going to the King single size if you want to get a swag that is um, pretty much a similar size to the rest of the ones on this list. Anyway, now that we know a little bit about each of these swags, let's now directly compare them against each other to see which one comes out on top. All right, so first up here we have price. Let's compare the price of each of these swags. And as you can see, there's a pretty big variation there ranging from the King's Escape Deluxe, which is all the way down at $200, up to uh, the Oz 10 RS1, which tops out at about $430. And there's a whole whole variety in there as well. Um, the, the Oz Trail Mitchell single is quite cheap as well. That along with the King's option are probably the two, the two cheapest options out there. Um, 
and then the others are kind of sitting in that 300 to 400 dollar mark um, another important point is the canvas thickness and this is measured in, in gsm gsm or grams per square meter and this just gives you a feel for the different thicknesses of canvas that each of the um each of the swags have used and you'll see that there's no data here for the oz 10 rs1 because that is actually made out of polyester rather than canvas uh, but the rest all sit around that 400 ish um, GSM mark there for that canvas with the Oz Trail being a notable exception um, they use much thinner canvas just 300 GSM canvas the internal width um, this gives you a feel for kind of the sleeping width inside the tent um, and you can see that there's a decent variation as well um, most of them are sitting in that 80 to 90 centimeter range there although the Oz tent is very wide there at over one meter wide so that's plenty of of width there even for you bigger guys out there that need a bit of extra space um, all the way down to the, the Bushman uh, the AOS Bushman there is only 71 centimeters wide which is really quite narrow actually um, and that can be a bit of a tight squeeze if you do have quite broad shoulders similarly the internal length is important um, depending on how tall you are I mean the graph makes it look like they're all pretty much the same there but you can see that they range from 200 to 215 centimeters long on the inside um, and you know, for most people, this won't be a big deal, but if you are a tall person, and you're, if you're over 190 centimeters tall, um, I wouldn't recommend the AOS Bushman single there because it is 200 centimeters long. I mean, if you're 190 centimeters in height, your feet are going to be virtually brushing up against the end and, and your head's going to be brushing up against the other end. And it's not going to be very comfortable. You don't have much room to spread out. Um, so in that situation, I would look at a bigger swag or maybe look at upgrading to the AOS Bushman King single swag instead that gives you a bit of extra uh, space. Similarly, the head height, this gives you a kind of a feel for how claustrophobic the swag is in a way. Um, swags do tend to have quite low ceilings, they're quite squat. Um, and you can see there that the, the Oztrail Mitchell is down as low as 70 centimeters. Um, so it is, it is quite, quite low, um, but it's still, it's not too bad. There's definitely a swag out there that are lower than 70 centimeters. Um, and, but you can see that the Oz 10 RS1 is um, again, is the winner there at 100 centimeters of internal height so it is quite spacious really as spacious as, as a squat tent so it is quite a large swag next up is the packed volume uh, for each of these swags and that's just giving you a feel for how much space um, the swag will occupy or take up when it is fully packed away and there is a pretty big variation on these i don't have any data for the king's escape deluxe because they don't provide that unfortunately but you can see that um, the Oztrail Mitchell single and the, and the, the Darchi Duster Dawn 900 both take up um, very little space when packed up. They, they can pack down quite nicely, which is good to see. And then on the other end of the spectrum is the Oz 10 RS1, which as I've said before, is a very bulky uh, swag. It takes up a lot of space when packed up. I think it's about one and a half meters long, fully packed. Um, it is a big bulky unit. It will take up a lot of space in your boot. So just consider that as well. That is an important point. And likewise, the weight is also something to, to consider if you're going to be lugging it around. The Oz 10 RS1 is very heavy, as I've said before, um, over 16 kilograms. It's a bulky item. But then um, the Oz Trail Mitchell is very light, same as the AOS Bushman single there down at around 8 to 9 kilograms there, which is quite nice um, and much lighter and much more manageable if you are um, carrying it around a fair bit. The mattress thickness is important. Each of these swags come with an included mattress. Um, including the King's Escape Deluxe. I just don't have any data for the thickness of that mattress. Um, you can see there's a bit of a variation. Most of the mattresses are around 70 mil thick. The Oz 10 RS1 is just 40 millimeters thick, so it is quite a bit thinner. You might want an extra swag mattress on top of that existing mattress um, for added comfort in that situation. Do keep in mind that the thickness does not tell you the whole story. However, some mattresses um, might, uh, might be fairly thick but have no support so they're actually not that comfortable anyway so do check out the full comparison on my website outdoorexplorer.com.au to see which how these mattresses all do stack up against each other uh, ventilation is an, another important point as you don't want to be getting any condensation inside your swag overnight and you also want to be able to get some fresh air into that swag um, during summer to help you cool down the Oz 10 RS1 is unfortunately um, made out of polyester which means it's less breathable and the double whammy is that it also doesn't have many windows um, so or ventilation points apart from that kind of front opening which means that um yeah you do tend to get a um you do tend to get a build up of condensation in these tents uh, in these swags is what i've heard from people that have used them um, and you, you probably might find this a bit hot in there in summer as well as you won't be able to get so much fresh air in 
Um, similarly, the AOS Bushman swags don't, as are a traditional swag rather than a dome swag, they don't have any windows, so the ventilation will not be quite as good in these when they are sealed up at night. Warranty is another important point here, and um, the obvious standout is the AOS Bushman single that comes with that outstanding 10-year warranty, um, which is really quite amazing when you consider how hard-wearing swags are. You know, they're out there in the sun, the dirt, dust, and the rain. Um, to give a 10-year warranty on an item like that is pretty amazing, and it really just shows how good quality the AOS, AOS products really are um, and how much they back themselves to produce good quality products that are fully manufactured here in Australia. So that's quite outstanding. If we just remove that for a second so we can see the other ones more clearly, um, you can see that they are all in the one to two year warranty range there with the Kings and the Oz Trail being down at one, one year there. Those are the two cheaper cheapest um, swags on the list, so you would expect them to have a, uh, a, a shorter warranty period as well. Last up, we will just take a look at the build quality of each of these uh, swags. Um, a bit of a subjective measure, but just based on my feel, speaking to people that have used these swags before and what they think of them. Um, the King's Escape Deluxe is generally considered to not be such a good quality swag. It has waterproofing issues, even um, for people that have seasoned it many times, and the poles um, break fairly easily as well, unfortunately. The two Dachi tents, um, they also have reportedly quite weak poles. Um, that's what people say that have used them, and that you have to use quite a bit of care when you're setting up and packing down these tents to make sure that you don't break or damage the poles in any way. Other than that, the rest of the swags on this list um, are built quite well, as far as I can tell. Um, the the 230 Bandit swags have that internal seam sealing, which is a really nice touch. The AOS Bushman swags are just all-round quality, and the Oztent, um, yeah, as per usual with Oztent, they produce high-quality gear as well. That swag is excellent. <clears throat> So that's pretty much how each of these swags stack up against each other. To sum it up, the best kind of swag for you um, depends on the type of camping that you're going to be doing. I think that the 230 Bandit swag is a great all-rounder option. If you are on a tight budget, however, go for the King's Deluxe Escape single swag. For expedition or touring style camping, uh, the Mitchell Expedition, Spa Expedition swag will be great for you. However, if you tend to stay in one spot and you prefer a nice, um, spacious option, the Oz 10 RS1 swag um, will be the best bet for you. Be sure to check the video description below to see the latest prices on each of these swags. Anyway, I hope that you've enjoyed this video on the best swags in Australia. What did you think of it? Which is your favourite swag? Let me know in the comments below.